It is incredible, isn't it? When you think about it, we have Romanian murderers come here and Bulgarian rapists, and we cannot send them home. And they've been in this country in some instances for the best part of half an hour, and they've decided to murder teenagers or rape young women, and we cannot deport them. We have people engaged in terrorism, fermenting terrorism, preaching terrorism, dancing a jig of joy when the Twin Towers come down, doing everything they can to spread all sorts of unrest within the country, and we cannot deport them. We have people convicted of the gr grossest of crimes, including paedophilia, and you're following the narrative, I know, we cannot deport them. And we have these souls who, in some instances, have given half a century working in some pretty thankless tasks. Not all of them, but some of them. Driving the buses, working on the trains, delivering hospital food for half a century, and we can't get them out of the country quick enough. H how the hell does that work? Eastern European gangsters stay. Hard-working people from the Commonwealth get out. Excuse me, can I go on benefits now? Can I have a passport? No, get out. Honestly, who was in charge of this? It's horrific.